Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary MTU Don't Dwell campaign. We pick things up for episode 6 from turn 28 in the winter season of 195. So, uh, pick things back up. We are pretty much stuck uh, as we have to deal with our negative food situation in the winter. Taltals hit us with a minus 20 event even though we are producing 40 food. Um, I mean, it's minus 20 if you take a look at it, right? We could be at 19 food here, but instead we're at negative one. So we have to push our tax rate up way high uh, so that we can fight rebels and get the farming food. So we are at max army limit. We have to defend. We had to pay off Liu Bell. We have to kind of just halt our activities so that we can deal with things. Now we probably cannot catch up to him. Actually, no, we can. Wow. The save game didn't mess it up. So since we took out the infantry, they feel good about it. We night battle them. We are stronger, so it's not going to activate John L's passive ability. The flaming shot would do a lot of damage, hurt their morale. We have Li Bu. They really have nothing that can you know withstand us. The only thing is, I think I'm going to waste points. Oh dear. Did I waste points? I might have wasted some points. Well, maybe a few points. I don't think I'm at like 99 or something like that. I think maybe we're 92 or 94, but maybe we're at 80 something. We'll see. Let's just jump into the fight. All right, it is snowing. Um, that's not good, but it really doesn't matter. We're not lighting anything on fire and the snow will actually slow down movement. So it's actually quite nice. Uh, we're going to send them out and they can rush down some generals as well. Actually, no, let's call them three, call them one, and we're good to go. Yeah, we're going to be constantly wasting points, especially at the beginning of episodes, just because we can't really keep track of what our situation is. I should just slow down a little bit, but I was pretty eager to see that we have the movement because I thought we want that, but we want to propose that because we get more experience that way. And we just have to hover within range. John L can just... Give everyone an early good night here. Oh my god, that hit everyone. Alright, he was fighting out of range. Everyone has routed, except for the unbreakable units. So we're gonna send him to go fight them. We're gonna pull up the cavalry. Nubu has one. You guys want a piece? Alright, make sure they don't return. Yeah, things like that. We don't wanna happen. Nubu's getting back on. Nubu's better at killing these guys. Our cavalry's not bad at doing that either. Look at them getting run down. Right, one the general fell. Gongdu himself. Stop. It's like one of them left. Alright. I think the army might still be on the field. Yeah, we didn't kill that many. Everyone tend to route, which is okay, because we can farm intimidation. I don't know how many I wasted. I think I wasted like maybe four. Got one item to drop. Okay, they're still on the map. Let's do some dealings first. First things first, we need to get ourselves another access to food. I know that Loyang right now is not producing any food. But... Uh, why so pricey? 
So... Hmm... We can build a land development there, basically, that's the idea. Oh, the thing about this is we can't rush the demolish. Wait, wait, wait. So we don't want that. We want to... Wait, wait, wait. Did this just bounce to zero? We got one extra from fishing? How? How? Well, I don't want this building. Just to make sure, right, we're good. So Lupo's army will take care of all of this, then he'll probably hop into the river, be the fastest way to get around actually. This army has replenished enough, um, we're gonna start marching out towards them. Fuofang has walls, no one has siege weapons, so we're fine, we'll clean up these three fights. Alright, we want to get this gold item, but this fight here can be a little tricky. We're going to need some stronger generals. No one is actually that strong. We need to move a couple people around, I think. Like, she is not needed here anymore, and she can help with that situation back there. I need them to get in, so they don't burn through all their supplies. And then we'll give them one more general and they can go take care of that situation next turn. He's stuck here with us, which is good. We'll just hang on here. And we'll use the deployments on this army. Doesn't matter who, once again we're just trying to take out the rebels. There's no items, so... Just 10 points of intimidation for us. And some money. Experience. More money. Alright, where are the rebellions going to be next turn? Luoyang is going to have one soon. But we have this army here. Oh, actually, that's not even the army. I don't mind sending someone here to farm this. It's just that our max army slot has an issue, obviously. I would like to lower the taxes everywhere. If we can. More food. I guess Shuofang is going to be income, although I don't think I want to invest the administrator down there. But I, yeah, it's probably going to be income. This also gives us a little bit of food, I think. No, no extra food. Uh, if that's the case, then maybe we'll start with this. Yeah, it's also dictates our playstyle. Pretty much early game, we got hit with the upkeep bonus or recruitment costs and then we ended up not going with the army now he's hitting us with food and we have to kind of put down rebels everywhere yeah i think that's the best we can do diplomatically speaking and by who 3.5 now it's gone up oh has this gone down a little I don't have enough points this turn, but maybe next turn. Maybe we can get the piece done first, 
and if he's willing to pay us a little, which he actually will now. Yeah, we'll take this. And then we'll work on the marriage after that. We'll wipe out the bandits, no peace for them, because we cannot vassalize and annex them. Ah, oh, it's all such a pain. Oh, low satisfaction. She has own retinue ammo, which is slightly different. Sibling jealousy is her main thing, desire for higher core positions, another thing. We'll pay attention to that. Now, who might have an ammo boost who doesn't have a bow? She has a bow. Own retinue snipe. Yeah, own retinue ammo. <gasps> She has gold bow and gold weapon and gold armor. Can you come back to us before your father take those gear away from you? Like, Pangdu is not coming with us. He's too happy with Matong. Maybe after Matong dies of old age. Uh, I mean, we don't need him right now. Yeah. This is family member. We could spend some money. I don't think he has anyone interesting in his faction. I don't think he has any interesting item. So less inclined to really do anything with Wang Quan, but... Oh! He has Yuan Shang. We can turn her, basically. She's the heir. She might have good items. There's a mom. Ooh. Yes, yes. Why don't we do that? Plus 10. That's a sizable defense. She's not happy. Mom is not that happy. Maybe we can soften up mom. Well, but plus 10 defense, we gotta watch for that, so we can't do much here. Let's be patient here. 4,000 left, not anything to build, we're fine. Uh, let us continue, I guess. Gong Sun Zan signed a peace deal. Opening the tombs. Okay, so raiding the tombs, something that Dong Zhuo did in Luoyang, because we got Luoyang back. So we can get money from that, damage the buildings there, and become minus 10 public order. Uh, reviled Lord. Leave them close. Our army will lose three morale. That's not a big deal. Well, the thing is, I, I don't need 5,000. And this is not going to hurt us at this point. 10 turns and minus 10 because we just have way too much public order issues with Cao Cao's scheme. So I'm going to keep them closed because personally, the one thing I hate about Dong Zhuo historically is he damaged so many artifacts when he burned down the capital and looted it. So we're going to prevent that from happening. He's willing to be a spy for us. He's in the waters again. Alright, we're not going to overflow any points here. Ooh, um, I prefer construction cost discounts. I can do the same thing to Gong Sun Zan, but I'd rather boost my own public order and population growth. I can still get another air from him. Sa Holden dropping 30 point, we already saw it does nothing. Fatigue Zhengjiang's army, reroll Hua Xin's trait. Hua Xin, what trait do you have? Cowardly. I mean, he could end up getting burnt. I can catch up to this army anyway, so I don't care about that. Let's see, we got Deng Ning Qin. Okay. <gasps> we did it. No longer brave, two brave rerolls, and finally a burnt reroll right here for Hua Xin. 
I'm just going to delegate this fight, I think. Doesn't matter if we take damage. Oh, they're still on the field. Even better. 20 points of intimidation from them. Alright, at 96, we need to go do diplomacy before we do any more fighting. Alright, we have access to at least two fights here. Maybe even three. Did, did, did they land? No, they didn't land yet. Alright, so we have some fighting over here coming up. We have some fighting here that we've been waiting to do. And they hopped into the river, except for you can't sail very far. You can go to the to nothing here, he can go all the way to here. Yeah, he can't go anywhere. Uh, he can cross, I guess, if he wants to go north. That's a fine choice, I guess. I need to get the walls up here pretty quickly. All right, let me get the reform out of the way and then we'll do some diplomacy. We got two spies, which I think is plenty for us right now. I don't think we need to do anything about spying anymore. I think we should go back and return to focus on this tree. Getting more trade doesn't really benefit us. Level 5 ports. That's not bad. Harbors. And this is level 4 silk and spice, which is also quite good. We have three of them. Let's get this first. White stallion? Okay. We're going to have plenty of horses, but hopefully we'll get some of the gold ones. Diplomacy first. What can we do? We can push for that marriage. Ooh, he's dropped down quite a bit. 27.6. Is this under 100? It is. Okay, okay. So we have to pay cash for this. We can't use our uh, uh, faction intimidation to get that. So we pay straight cash for this, and then we try to get Sun Tzu. Wow, he's greedy. Oh wow, we might not have enough cash. Yeah, we don't have enough cash. Never mind, never mind, we have to wait here. Um, then the easier deal to push through would be the marriage with Yan Bai Hu's brother. And he's probably less greedy. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we have to spend another 2,000 for divorce. Whoever is our divorce lawyer is making bank. We got three items. Not bad. Decently happy. Got fondness from the marriage. Ooh, plus two public order for faction leaders. Looks like you finally got an item that's useful. I mean, Domin is using the other one, but we don't have any others, so. Nature's Guidance for campaign movements is also quite nice, but we don't have a water clock. But it's not a hard item to pick up, so we'll probably get one eventually. Especially if we build some... Oh no, it doesn't come from Forge, it just has to be luck. I'm going to take away all his gear for now. Take a look at Spies. She's coming back. We know there's plus 10 on cover. Who can we mess with? I mean, she's the one we're interested in. Dropping her by 30 puts her at 29. Wait, Han Hao? 
We have the feeder of armies right here. Semi unique. Bonus is not so good, but we'll start with her because she's really who we're targeting. And once she bounces back, we'll see if 29 is low enough to grab her. And she should pick up, I'm guessing, lack of purpose on the bench, unless she is air. She's not air. We have the air. Unless she has a position in the faction. Alright, let's bounce our intimidation back up to over 70. We have to start with this one. There is a bunch of fight around and we're not fully healthy, so I'm going to have to fight this one. Nice and easy encampment fight. We don't have... Um, what do you call it? Flaming shots, but they should be marching out toward their death. We can target a... Hold on. We, we don't need to duel. We have her. I want to test this out. Alright, let's see what the range on this is. What does it look like? Oh! That's what they meant by 200 arrows. Okay. Alright, I see. Use the arrows on her to do it. I can get experience from him. Let's do it. And then you can buff Granddaddy. Or I guess his father in this case. Uh, historically, it's grandfather, but. Come on, give it to us. Look at our damage now. Look at that number. Look at his health. Oh! Oh! It's the execution. Cutthroat. Oh, I'm getting shot. We'll let them route. If we can get a second fight out of this, even better. Yeah, this general combination might be a little bit too strong. When is when is army loss gonna hit you guys? They're like, when are you actually gonna hit us with a rock? There we go. When we actually get a hit. Alright, so finally it's pretty much a burn a whole town down by herself type of girl. 76 intimidation. They're still on the field, which is bouncing back our public order. Don't draw hit rank 6. We can get Blade Breaker. I'm gonna pick up Authority Horse here on him. Ah, uh, we can't move into anyone. That's fine. Uh, we'll get a couple more fights. We're in a healthy amount of intimidation. We need to worry about this situation here. Who else can make this better? We can do burn debuff. Take out their range ammo. But how do we force the capture? Who would be best here? Gaoshun, what's your ability? Roar. Okay, we'll use you. And I'm assuming you would have the highest capture rate. 41. 6. <laughs> yeah, big difference. We'll have to fight this one too. Because we don't want him to be killed. We want at least a second chance here. Alright, so Huan Li will usually be perfect for these fights because she can burn down the town. We can't do that. They will likely charge out at us, is my guess, or will they not do that? I can't see, and they can't see me, so I can get them some vision here. Just charge. They don't have any... No dueling for sure. He needs to stay alive. We have a lot of good abilities. Hidden Strike's also really good, but let's get in first. 
All the archers will shoot at us, so we gotta kill those guys. They will do more friendly fire than anything else, to be honest. Alright, one down. We're not roaring yet. I'll probably roar right now. Get the last three together. Route, route, route. Route, route, route. He's not unbreakable, so everyone gives him like a little tap. A few more taps. There we go. Alright, that's our first chance. Let's see if we get it. And... Moment of truth. Nope. But he's still alive, so we'll let him take a break. Don't chase after him or else he will die. Alright, now we can just do the level up, do the right builds. I think we might want this first, then into that, because together they're broken, but by itself it's not that broken. Level 4, 5, 6, 7. We have to use Gulshrun quite a bit if we want to see that nuke combo. Alright, we have a few more generals who are struggling with satisfaction. Makes sense, they're just not doing anything. Um, lack of purpose is what's really destroying them. He has a retinue that's really good, so that's a problem where we can't really send him onto the field. So I might just temporarily give him something like Patrol Commander. And you might temporarily be our attendant or something like that. One thing is that we have a good economy. I don't really care that much about you, but the item should put you in the right place. Okay, we're good to go, I think. Uh, spend money on buildings, and then we can end turn. Not enough food to go tall. Alrighty. Oh, Hanfu declare war on us. Go ahead. Looters. Someone summoned the looter army. Wait. Cavalry. Interesting. So you can still summon against us in the horse pasture. I mean, Lubu's army is going to probably stay busy in this area, but... Um, I can't really defend this open field, so they can take it. Who is leading it? Okay. Oh, intimidation hit. Oh, it's fine. We had enough. Alrighty. So we got schemed. Um, minus 5 diplomatic relations, plus minus 25% melee evasion for this army here. Okay. Um, it's not... So bad. I don't understand how an army could be affected with diplomatic relations, but we'll see. We also lost all military supplies in this army, or we're losing some military supplies in this army. Not a big deal. Uh, we can disband this if we have to, but it's really just farming rebels. Looters declare war on us. This is the big deal. So looters are being spawned, and they're not being spawned at the capital, they're being spawned here, which is rather annoying because now we have to deal with them. Uh, Ribu has forces nearby, so we'll wipe out Gundu's faction and then sail our way over there to take care of it. If this is going to be the case, we might as well build up Wei as a military uh, settlement. We'll take control of it, we'll build military buildings here, and... Uh, We'll pretty much have an isolated area where we will take care of these looters. But that's that's definitely a concern. We lost supplies in this army as well, so we're losing 5% replenishment. So the easiest solution for this is after we wrap up all this fighting with this army, is we disband the army, get rid of all the units, and uh, reform the army elsewhere with new units. Because it's just not worth dealing with these 11 turns of replenishment debuff. 
Uh, Yuan Shu invited Liu Dan into their coalition. He Yi is wiped. Gongdu is going to get wiped. Is Huang Shao still on the map? Gaining experience for defeat. We got a item. Ooh, Master Craftsman. Very good item. Ooh, competing with public water here. Um, I think we get rid of the public water and go for the 10% industry. Now... Looking at the map, is Huang Shao, Huang Shao still alive? So once we finish off Gongdu, he will actually go join Huang Shao's faction. We lost 15 points for losing a battle for Intimidation, so we must fix that. Capture, right. Swap. He has higher percent, if I remember correctly. 45 versus 35, yep. Unless she has even higher because of Perceptive. Where is personal? 44, 45. So the level does overcome the perceptive. And we will be doing this. With the garrison's help, this would just be a delegate. Of course we could do better if we just go for a higher percentage. But it's not like we can hire any of them. So I'm really just counting on them dropping items at this rate. Let's see what happens. Feels like we can get two sets of intimidation from them. We will take the horse. Yeah, we can chase them. And we are going to chase them. We're going to end to this madness. Um, Decisive victory. It's not going to get any better. Still 0% for him. Both of them still have two stack of resiliency, so they will actually live and go to Huang Shao's faction. Now that He Yi is also dead. Ooh. Maybe we will just kill them here. There's really no point to keep them alive. We can never take them. So getting an item from them is the best thing we can get. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Lead. Get in there and then start sailing over there. Intimidation's at a good place. We can do one more fighting. Not going to interfere with that. And who has the highest capture rate here? It has to be her. Right. Where are you going? So that means they're going to get wiped regardless of how many people is left behind. Uh, we're going to fight better than Pyrrhic. So let's go. Alright, we're in the northwestern desert. There is nothing on this map except for dirt. And I guess that will be sand in the distance. Okay, interesting. Um, we are going to overrun her with a cavalry to kill her. She's very difficult to deal with. Most of these units will be disbanded afterwards, so it doesn't actually matter how well we protect them. Because we want to get rid of the army debuffs. She's quite useful with the ability there. We'll try to utilize that better now that we know what it looks like. Oh, we still haven't changed the settings. I should approach them from the front if I knew they had traps to throw. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's like strong. The damage is quite weak per arrow. Like we literally have to like spread it on. But it's a good morale shock because everyone gets the fire under fire. Cooldown isn't so bad. I'll go kill him. Go give dad a buff. Fight it out. 
There we go. Get a couple shots on her. He's dead so fast. Pull it back, pull it back. Want to see the execution move? Uh, there we go. Took out both his arms. I'll take care of this. You guys take care of her. You guys kill her. What? What? I understand we lost 50% melee evasion, which makes us pretty much have no melee evasion, but... How? Anyways, we're disbanding the army, it's not a big deal. Like, she gets a damage buff for having her friend die, that part I understand. But that's still impressive damage to kill, don't go that fast. Alright, so get rid of all of these, don't draw us back on the bench already. There's like one level up that we're wasting, which doesn't really matter. Now the debuff are gone. Did he pick up a injury trait? Maimed. So that part is a little bit sad, but you know, you're gonna get an injury trait anyways, unless we get like scarred, which is actually slightly positive. Um, or maybe one-eyed, which is also not bad. Uh, Maim is probably not so good, but it's fine. Not gonna hurt us that much on the long run. All right, so we got rid of that army. They are marching towards Hangul Pass, which they cannot beat. There's just no way they can beat that, so not even going to be concerned about that. They summoned a second. All right, allow, allow me to recover for a second. Two gold follower items. Two gold follower items. Do I want to cancel you just to get a little bit higher capture chance, 49%? I mean, then I have to wait for two turns, but 41, eh, 8%. 8% is significant. Uh, it's a little bit unexpected. She's level 4, 39. I mean, 41's not bad. Let's give it another shot. They're still encamped, I believe. So it'd be the same idea. We roar on them, route everyone. I have to fight this. Alright, so we saw the percentage was 88%, 90 something percent, so just don't kill the two generals and we should be doing great. Uh, if they want to charge out, that'd be even better. But looks like they're not interested. Which means we just have to ride for it. Let us charge in here. Can you roar? Let's get rid of these on the front door. Kill off all the range units because they actually hurt. Alright, move over there. Turn around. Uh, might as well activate that. 
but don't hit any generals. I don't want to accidentally kill any generals. And we don't want to kill everyone. We want them to stay alive. Uh, not gonna have a chance. Uh, we don't need to do that. They're gonna route. Or roar here. Last one. Alright, both of them are not unbreakable, which is good. We're gonna go capture this, drop their morale a little bit more. And then do some damage. First route all the units. Then gentle taps. Gentle taps. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Okay, he's dead. There we go. Alright. Fingers crossed, let's get at least one of them. I hope they can still escape. But they might be out of land to run. We got one, okay. Provincial Auditor this is probably the better one, the other one is just all stats. Oh, they still have room to run. Good, good. Good. We, we go back. They can, we can let them grow. Like they're gonna keep sending out gold generals, or gold followers. We're so happy to f keep letting them come out. So we're gonna give this to Zhang Liao. And hold on, before we do that. Hand of the King um, is a bonus that requires another gold, uh, uh, the three strategies. It's good for faction wide bonus. Uh, the three strategies also good for faction wide bonus. Once we get that, we'll give this to one of our leaders uh, positions. But right now we'll use the administrator version, which is just the item itself. We don't have the strategies of three. Uh, yellow Duke of Yellow Rock. Okay, uh, most of the issues are resolved. We have over a hundred intimidation. I think we blew a couple points again. Maybe six points. Got carried away with the two gold items. It can be worth a good amount of money, but the problem is these two all have upkeep and they don't have income. So down the line, I'm not going to make this any taller. And corruption is an issue, so maybe we do go down the corruption reduction route here. Because I'm not going to stick administrator here. Do I have the reform for this one? I do. Okay, so I could go twice here. Let's do that first. Corruption's still a big issue. Minus 40 points. How did we lose reserve again? Oh, oh, oh. It's me the whole time. Because of the low food, that's why we dipped. Okay. And here I am thinking about spies. It's not spies, it's just me. All 
Are you level 5? Yes, you are. I want you to be level 5, but we had to cancel this so many times. These two, not so rushed. Let's see if the wife is willing to turn now. No, but Liu Qi is willing to turn on his father. That's a family relationship we can exploit. But before we do that, we know there's plus 10 points here. So we need to wait for one of these. I think we'll just get do interference first, which means we don't have to wait so long. Like one more turn here, two more, two more turns, and we can just apply discredit faction, and hopefully we can do something about her. And there's not much I want to do with Liu Bao's faction, so I'm going to keep that alone. We are at 100 points, but there's not much I want to do. I think we'll just stay there. Unless, unless, still 28.4, he demands quite a bit of money. And that marriage is impossible to push through. I think it's still okay. like negative 60 something. Yeah. That's too much. I will save some money. Uh, we're approaching 197, so the Emperor is going to come of age. Imperial favor will help us, I hope. Um, although there's a lot of negative public order places, we also have these keeps or passes that are giving us these positive 100, counteracting a lot of these negative. Um, and hopefully, once this goes away next turn, we can revert our taxes and things can become more normalized. So until then, let's continue. Liu Bei. How do they... Oh, they're not at war with Liu Chong. Oh, wow. We're gonna have to loop them, but this is a surprise. Yeah, so we were depending on Liu Chong's past, so we probably want to trade it for ourselves. Liu Bei's force, the trick here is to make sure this group doesn't die, because if they die, then we lose morale, he's not unbreakable, we'll just lose the battle. He has really slow speed, so we have to watch that. Has to be a very safe type of kiting. Like our goal shouldn't be to win the fight, it should just be to survive the fight. If you guys can understand what I'm trying to mean here. Which gate, which gate? Probably this one. At least there are trees, so they want to go like here. Yeah, we're not dueling. Oh no. Huh. Then we lose because of this. Why though? Why? Why? Because mm, they're not full health? Is that what's mainly hurting them? I'm not even going to get an answer for that. Just outnumbered? Huh. I mean, we're just going to take down. There's nothing we can do. So they win this fight. They take Luoyang. Do I lose Luo Jun as a general? That's the question. Liu Bei, you don't execute people, right? Let's see. Alright, we lose 15 points of intimidation, but more importantly, it looks like he survives. Released. Oof. We pick Brent. Um, he's here. Phew. Okay. We're good. 
He did not pick up fondness for Liu Bei either, which is also good. Being divorced, desire for higher core position, lack of purpose. We need to put him into a position where we can utilize him. So we need to worry about Liu Bei now. Well, this is an opportunity as well for us to capture them. There's only one way towards us from Luoyang. Hangu Pass. Cao Cao's also coming this way. What happened to He Yi's arm? Oh, He Yi got wiped. That's right. Okay. Things are heating up. At the pass as well. Maybe things will go properly instead of Yuan Shu's attack route, which is just not very useful for us. We gotta wait one more turn with her in terms of points, so we'll stop worrying about that. We recalled Dong Zhuo's army, so I guess this would be a good place to place that army. We have a lot of reserves here, which doesn't really help with bonuses to replenishments. Should we send the army out from Jing Zhao? Oh, what is this? Mind blown! This is the gold follower farm. Okay, okay. Um. All right, let's let's collect ourselves. Do the right thing. Uh, we are gonna go take care of the looters, which is actually a tough situation to deal with because we might want to stop by here first. Because this army is not strong. Especially after the delegate, everyone's kind of injured. But we do have Lu Bu, so I don't think anything can go terribly wrong. I think they're just stuck in the waters, right, so I don't have to worry about them. There should be enough time. Nobody will also have to take care of this group first. Our food is back to normal, so we can also fix that. Give Lord Jun a chance to retake it. And then we also kind of want spear guards. And also the burden officer also helps. So we're going to run a full army here. Juggernauts are coming back. And we'll run our expensive troops as well. Deck out that full army. Should also help with diplomacy down the line with the full army. Alright, back to 91. I can fight this group now. He's very low health. This is going to be slightly tricky. But definitely worth trying. Let's go. Alright, so let's move it over here. They're not coming out. We have to go in. Might as well go in with the trees where they can't see us. No dueling. Let's get in there first. Sweep across all four corners. Clean out whatever units we can. We'll save the roar for the spear units, or maybe even for this general, can we whack him a couple times? He's also not unbreakable, so it's fine. Slow it down a little, we do want to get this use out of the way. Let me charge back in here for us. Hey. 
All right, we'll clean the units up first. We're taking quite a bit of damage, especially her. Send her out. All right, he's dropping, he's routing. I need to clean out the troops here. All right, don't hit him. Perfect. Alrighty. We wasted one point, that's okay. <gasps> the first guy dropped his, and the third guy gets executed. We picked up three golden follower items. And the army's still here. I'm gonna leave them alone. I wanna see if they spawn another guy with gold items. Poison arrow, range damage, quick preparation, passive buff for speed boost. I want to get this, I guess, but these are nice too. But I think this is quicker to get fire, a uh, flaming shot. Oh, but that's not going to save because uh, we're going to end our episode here. So we have a lot of exciting things coming up. We have Liu Bei taking control of Luoyang, which is great because now he can convert the tax collection to his tax collection. I'm going to let him build this up and then take it back from him to have his perfect tax collection building. Meanwhile, their armies are going to come towards us. We're going to defend at Hangul Pass only. We're not going to extend out. So we're going to be fighting them there. We did lose trade access with Liu Chong, I believe, because we lost this. There's no more land pass for us. And we are prone to getting hit by Tao Tao's scheme from time to time, but we're just gonna swallow it and, uh, you know, survive through that because I, I want for all of them to spawn later generation characters, so I don't want to kill anyone. And meanwhile, uh, the North is still a bit tricky to deal with with the looter situation. Keeping a Han Empire here might not work, so we might end up taking this and then just militarizing Wu Wei to do the job for us, maybe with a military infrastructure, which is a building that we typically never build, but in this case, it would save us an army, essentially. And then once it was freed up, I'm not hoping to give them units because I want to recall them. Uh, I don't want to delete these units, I want to keep them, but I want to recall them and redeploy them uh, maybe on a front here in Wu Pass, and they can be a raiding party to head out to maybe take some of Yuan Shu's, or wipe out Yuan Shu essentially here, um, and start maybe hitting back a Cao a bit as well. He's having such an easy time. But aside from that, um, not much is going on. Um, I mean, we did get three gold items, can't lie. Look at that. Anyways, uh, come back next time and uh, hopefully we get a couple good fights here in Hangul Pass. There's no way the AI can you know, go around this, unlike the situation here. So we should get some good fights and uh, we'll see how things go with the uh, Juggernauts and Spear Guard combo coming up. I think we might need one more level for that formation to activate, but at least we can plan for that. And uh, it should go pretty well. This would be the standard army with one Baron officers. We have a bunch of other Baron officers. We could have them come out as well to farther debuff the enemy range capabilities. But overall, things are looking pretty good. And once Liu Bu freed up over here, we'll attack the Black, uh, the Black Mountain areas, settle in from the north, prevent all these armies floating around and then maybe come down over here and strike at the factions here. We might take control of the whole north if we can. We're pretty far away from becoming king. Uh, we have to go tall basically for that to happen, but the emperor is almost of age as well in 197, so we'll probably see that next time. So a lot of things to look forward to. Hope you guys enjoy this one, and see you guys then. Bye!